Hello everyone, Wayne here. Today I'm going to be doing a personal project and I figured I might as well record my progress and share it with you guys so you can make your own. And today I'm working on a homemade water distiller. And this isn't some little phony uh, plastic wrap one. This is hardcore in the sun distiller. And here's what you'll need for your project. A drill, two containers, one smaller than the other, and I will be using metal. Some old cloth and a glass picture frame. You also need a hateful, merciless sun to assist you in the distilling process. Now if you don't already have all these everyday items and you're wondering where to get them, just go to your local thrift store. That's where I got mine. It didn't cost very much. Now the first step is to handle your picture frame. And you may be asking, Wayne, why do I need a picture frame if I'm just distilling water? And the answer is, you need the glass. Now you can just get rid of all this shit. Just tear that off. It doesn't matter what the picture is, you don't need it. Now we have a good piece of glass that was only a dollar. And it wasn't hard to find either. You also want the piece of glass to cover the container that you'll be using. So make sure it's the right size. Now next, you'll obviously want to wash this all off because it's dirty and we're going to be trying to make some drinking water. Next, you'll want to have an outlet for the clean water and that's where you need the drill. So I figure maybe down here in the corner is the best place to drain it out. I don't currently have any tubing right now so it's just going to drip out into a container right now. But I will still drill a hole. there you have it. Now that we have a somewhat clean workspace and the hole has been drilled, it's time to assemble the distiller. So you take your smaller tray and put it inside the large one. This one's good because it has a lip thing here and so that leaves space down here for the water to drain. And for cloth, I'm using some old socks. What you use really won't matter because you're just trying to use it to wick up the moisture. So you wet your, your cloth I could probably put more water in here but I'll just let it stay like that. So next Next, you put the glass over it. I don't have anything fancy to seal it with, so right now I will just be using tape. Now it's time to go and set it up. Last step is to just prop it up somewhere where you will get a lot of sun. I'm using some bricks to, to hold it up at an angle. That way when it gets some water going, it'll drip right down into this little bucket thing that I have here. When I, when I get some proper tubing, and if this works, I will I will add a hole to the top so I can add water to it. 
you can see it's currently it's it's fogging up right now so that means we'll know pretty soon if it works or not and I'll update you guys in the future if it does okay thanks for watching so it does work for the most part it's just the tape don't use tape you have to use hot glue or caulk or something and when you when you seal it all up make sure you install a hose or something so you can add water to it but yeah other than that it seems to work